what we're going to do in the next uh, yeah, 10 minutes, I guess, is we're going to try to clone this uh, app here or kind of like copy the front end here, take a screenshot of it and recreate it really quickly just inside of cursor. So I'm going to screenshot that. I'm going to drag in the screenshot here into copy coder and then click on generate prompt. So what it does here is it basically analyzes what's in this image, um, uses AI obviously for that. And then uh, it's going to return a very optimized prompt that we can then use to recreate this app uh, very quickly. Okay, so you can see the, the prompt is now here. Now, before I copy this, I'm just gonna go into cursor. And what we want to do before we paste that prompt, actually, we want to just kind of set up a, uh, just let me copy this command real quick. So uh, this is basically setting up a, a Next.js and Shadsian skeleton inside of our empty project here. So what does this mean? You can imagine this like a, like a template that we basically start with um, so that we don't start completely from scratch. But from this template, we can build uh, any kind of web app basically. So, okay, I'm gonna run this command here and it basically installs a Next.js project into our empty project here. I'm just going to select all of the default uh, selections here. And um, yeah, this, you can see now all of these like files here appeared. You don't need to know exactly what uh, they are, but they're basically the now the skeleton you can imagine of a, of a web app, of a very simple web app. Uh, and then now it's going to install uh, or let us uh, use ShadCN, which are basically, you can imagine them like um, UI components, so blocks of UIs that we can then take and uh, kind of uh, create this app with. Um, and okay, we're done now. So success, we have a skeleton here. Now we can actually go back to Copy Coder and copy this initial prompt that was created from this, from this um, image of YouTube Music. And we're just going to paste it here into Composer, which is the um, yeah probably one of or the most powerful AI feature of Cursor right now. Um, there's another one called AI Chat, but we're going to be using Composer for this, and we're also going to going to be using it in the normal mode for now, not in the agent mode. Um, okay, so you can see this is the prompt, and um, it basically describes it describes how, what should be inside of this app that we're going to create now and um, it starts creating. So it starts writing all of the code for us. We can lay back and wait for it to finish. Um, if we actually click here into this file, we can see that um, some of the code is, so it's being written in here. So we will probably see some changes being made here. And okay, so it's uh, did this first generation and it says, let me know if you'd uh, like me to create the remaining components. So um, the AI sometimes does that because it has a limited token window. So um, it creates like a part of what we wanted and we just need to type yes for it to continue uh, because it just kind of stopped imp after implementing a part of it. So we'll just type yes. So now it continues creating the other components. Okay, it keeps going. You can see here, this was empty before, so these are being created right now. Okay, and now it came back with a response which says, these components complete the music streaming dashboard. Um, and this basically says that we are done now. So what we can do now is to just check out what it did. And we're going to run this command here in the terminal, which um, essentially runs what our code here is inside of our own uh, local browser in, in the local host here. So I'm going to um, click this, open it up, and we already see that our image was now recreated as an app. So this is, this is actually this code that you can see here that's been written 
we now see on the screen here. And you can see it's reactive. We can kind of scroll it. Not all of the features will be there. We can yeah, we can click this away. Uh, if we click on this, doesn't it doesn't exist yet? We would need to add it. Also, what doesn't exist yet is if we click into the other pages. You can see they're not there yet. So we can actually solve that with the second prompt here in Copy Coder. So we're going to click Generate Page Structure. And what this basically does is it analyzes the image again and analyzes all of the other pages that are in this image and creates a prompt for us to recreate these pages. So I'm just going to head back into Cursor and then paste this. So since we have a few more pages now to create, this will probably take um, a bit longer than the first time. It will just start creating everything. And then once it's kind of done with the first chunk, it will ask us, do you want to continue? And then we just can just always type yes. So um, let's see what it does here first. And this is going to get much faster in the future. Like right now, it kind of still feels slow, even though it's pretty amazing that um, you know all of this is written for you. But it does feel slow because we have to wait for it. And in the future, it'll just be instant, uh, I guess. Uh, OK, so it says these implementations follow the requirements and include, OK. So I guess it pretty much built every single thing. So let's head back into this uh, the application here. And we can see now the Explore page is here. It wasn't there before. The Library page is here now. The Upgrade page is there as well. And yeah, we we basically have a a clone of this of the YouTube Music app. Um, although it's currently only the front end, of course, so we would need to keep iterating on it and building out the back end as well to make this a really functioning app that you know you can actually use to um, play music and so on. But you can see in just ten minutes, we basically took one app. Um, it can be a design too. You could uh, take a design from Dribble. And we have created our own version of this that we can now use to iterate on and build other features on and turn this into our own little app.